Hey, it's Delina. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're in the master bedroom, which is changing styles from a more modern mo farmhouse look to a more farmhouse French country cottage look. Um, we're going to start, first of all, right here on the vanity that my husband got me um it was an anniversary gift it had been the exact type of vanity that i had growing up as a teenager and as a surprise he bought it for me and i refinished it so the first thing we're going to talk about is this cord i hate cords showing but it's a necessity unless I were to put an outlet and drop it down through. But this is a good, cheap DIY um, hack. You take two pieces of blue painter's tape. You're going to staple your cord up at the top, up at the bottom. You're going to lay those two pieces of painter's tape down over that cord. You're then going to take paint from the wall and do a couple coats over and it at least kind of camouflages it. It's, it doesn't make it go completely away, but it camouflages it. Next thing I'm going to do is put this mirror that I found at Habitat for Humanity. I'm going to set that right there, which even further disguises that. Now, over here, this was the original lamp in the modern farmhouse look. Zoom you around a little bit. I have got a doily that my grandmother made, so it's sentimental. Yes, it's old ladyish, but it's still sentimental to me. A riser from Timu. A lamp that I did a DIY with um, joint compound and paint to make it look more like a vessel. A beige uh, lampshade. Should we turn it on? And it just gives it a nice little warm glow. Next to that, I have got a fake plant from Big Lots fern with a white ceramic. I'm going to set that there. Next to that, I have a picture of 
something I got off of public domain, so it was free. Just printed it off. For video purposes, I try to replace what I would put my family photos in with just art. So now we're going to move you over to this side of the vanity. I'm going to set this wooden box that I got from a thrift store a while back. Um, I love it. It has flowers and magnolias engraved in it. And it holds all my eyeglass things, knickknacks, my tried and true books. But I'm facing them this way. So it's less um, busy. A antique, or I got it at an antique store, um, little bird as my bookend. And that's my vanity. Above my vanity, I have the TV. I would love to get a framed TV or even paint this, but my husband's like, absolutely not. So I went on YouTube and you can become subscribed to an app that gives you four hours of TV screens to kind of hide the ugly TV and make it into a part of art. That's the vanity. Now, sound. And we have the bed. Now, the bed, all I did was I bought a khaki color, lightweight quilt. Here in Georgia, we really don't need anything for the summer. The sheets are just a gray. The taupe throw pillows that you see are actually the pillow shams that came with the comforter. And since they were king, I cut them in half and made them into throw pillows. The material with the light blue and the roses were a tablecloth that I found at a thrift store. And I cut and sewed the long pillow and two pillowcases out of it to tie into making the bed a little more French country. The floor, if you recognize it, is the rug that was out in the living room that I moved in here because as you see, the, the hardwood's gray the previous owners installed it. Uh, it's the only house in the home that has a gray hardwood. All the rest of it has sort of like a taupe. So that's me trying to fix that. Oh, that was my plate. Now we're gonna move over to what I use for a nightstand and is a antique secretary desk my uh parents had bought this and redid this and both parents are now gone all i did on here was put a marble riser i got from ross a lamp from the thrift store that had that french country vibe and a fake plant the next to it's also my phone charger the mirror is what was originally with the vanity. So I hung it over here since that, that was the only place to place the TV. Now, as far as art goes, I have, this is a, a coastal print. I have a print on its way, but it was late. And I needed to film this for you guys, so when it comes, if it comes before I air this, I'll insert a photo at the end. Now, 
These are the original drapes, and on the right-hand side are the new drapes, just so you can get an idea of the change. I had these drapes from the other house, and I really loved them, and I thought they looked more French country. They've got that, like, robin's egg blue, and they got the tans, and the gray, and, like, the whitish, creamish color. And then I put clips at the top with a black rod so they would be easy to move. I also added a room darkening panel behind them because they were very, very sheer, as you can see. And we have a light outside our window that at night just, it's like you're in daylight. Closet. So this bookcase had been out in my studio, and if you haven't seen the, the remodel of an outdoor outbuilding shed into an art studio, it's here on my channel if you look in my playlist. But I felt it fit better here. It was it was in really bad shape. I um I went ahead and stained it and polyacrylic. And turn it into a really nice piece. You see the carousel horse that I did a thrift flip on. Um, I have a video on that if you care to see what that looks like because it did not look like that originally. The vase is from TJ Maxx. The stems were for Timu. The basket here was my latest thrift find with a piece of that material from the tablecloth. Here you'll see I have a mini, one of those little mini kitchen lights that I painted kind of blue and made it more roughed up like a vessel. And a spindle wheel from a sewing machine a pulley from I don't know where, and a wood tray behind that. Here's an old library box with the fake plan in it. And if you move over this way, I have a couple of gold frames that, again, that public domain, I went in and punched in vintage botanicals, and I was able to print those off for free. The frames I got from a fellow YouTuber, I bought it off of Facebook here, um, shout out to Tori, Flores, F-L-O-R-E-S. Go check out her channel. Some books, again, with a button box that I made 20 plus years ago. And then if we move down to the next level, you see I have some vintage plates that I just put on some cake or yeah cake stands plate stands uh keeps them standing upright got those at the dollar tree instead of spending a whole bunch of money on amazon on those and then the very last i have a vintage set of scales with a lot of another one of those christmas ornaments from walmart that i think look like artichokes with another doily that my grandmother had made and then further down is where my dog and dog's food and water bowl is. Two empty places. Those I usually, that's where the pillows from the bed go at night. So that I have a place for it. Moving over, just a fake plant on a stand here next door. And I'll raise you back up. Now, up here on the shelf above my bed, I didn't really change anything. I left it as is. I felt that there was no need to redo it. I, I like the shelves above the bed as part of my decorating. 
Uh, it, all it contains is some family photos and some fake plants and a geo that my son had found. And I think it just adds some personal touches. Your bedroom should reflect you. Okay, your house should reflect you. Don't ever think, oh, you know, my house is not the style that everybody else is. Um, it doesn't look as good. You do you. Don't let anybody tell you, like, uh, sometimes I'll pick on the, oh, the farmhouse painted all white. You know what? I did that. But if that's what makes you happy, then you do you. I am just here to give you some inspiration and motivation and show you that for not much money, you can change your house into something that you really love and not be afraid. It, it takes some time when you switch styles. I'm not going to lie. I've had some things. I've gave up some things. I've sold some things. So don't ever be afraid if it's not working. Oops. If it's not working, change it. Don't think, oh, this makes me unhappy. I, I really hate the look of this. Do something about it. Paint it. Thrift it. Sell it. Take that money and buy something you do love. Thank you for watching. Um